Hey guys, Ken here. I'm back again doing another product review and I, I want to preface with a, a small thought, right? Okay, so let's say you're going to a party. You've been asked one task. One task is bring the music. How do you bring the music? Do you bring it like this in one of these little guys that you snap to your backpack? Yeah. Right? I mean, that might work if there's three of you. Then there's also the other option you're thinking of is, hey, maybe I'll bring this guy. This guy will fill a room pretty good. But the problem is, is I gotta go buy one of these and this thing's like three, $400, right? So what do you do when you wanna fill up a large area and you wanna have a great amount of sound and music, but you don't wanna break the bank? Well, you know what you do? You go and buy that guy, that guy right there. Right, so as I say, you wanna bring that guy to the party. It's huge, and man, does it put out. It, music, it, moving on. It sounds great, it sounds loud. Let's move on. So what is it, right? Let's go ahead and talk about what that thing is. Well, first and foremost, let's tell you what it's called. It is the Ion Pathfinder 320 high power all weather speaker with premium five speaker, 320 degree sound. That's the why of the 320 in the name, because it has 320 degree sound, not a full 360. It has Bluetooth 5.0. It'll stream and control your music wirelessly. It has an app that associates with it. It's called the Ion Sound XP app, and it controls your audio and the lighting on the boombox. Uh, 5XL 200 watt, 320 degree speaker system. So uh, it has a big speaker in the front here, eight inch. Uh, speaker with two uh, ports uh, at the lower side. Up on the top in the corners there are two one inch speakers. And then down below uh, next to the bracket over here on this side on this guy and on the other side you can't see on the other side of that bracket are two three inch uh, drivers there. So overall all the way that those speakers are set and in their position provides about 320 degrees of sound music. It has a 100 hour rechargeable battery. It claims 100 hours. I think it might be true because so far I've charged this thing up once right when I got out of the box. Charge it up and then I've been playing with it for about two weeks now and I've even taken this to a party, uh, a work party, holiday party and played Christmas music on it for three, four, five hours on hand. That thing lasts a long time so far. I'm impressed. That's why I'm talking a bit about it. Another cool feature about this is that it's IPX5 rated water resistant. It has a compartment with fast charging USB port. We'll talk about that here in a bit. Um, but it states that it can turbocharge your mobile device in the shade. It also has FM presets. There are 16 of them on the front of the device. There's only eight buttons, one through eight, but you press the FM button again, you'll get the second set, which will then mean 16. You can see it has backlit buttons for easy operation in the dark. Multicolored lights, if you can tell, uh, you can see it right there. Now granted, I have another LED light in the back that's shining on the wall that's giving you another color of lights, but you can see the device itself is also cycling through lights, which means it has multicolored lights. Speaking of lights that just went out, it has stereo link. Really cool feature, uh, something that I don't need uh, and I don't have of it, but what is it? You can get another one of those, put it on the other side, another side of a room, a banquet hall, a large area, and you can connect them together. And then basically what you're broadcasting Bluetooth wise, or you're putting maybe auxiliary into one device, it will broadcast to the other device and they will play in stereo. Pretty cool feature. It has an easy to grab handle, as you can see right there. Uh, it also has an easy pop-up handle and a set of wheels to make it more mobile. It has an EQ on board uh, that you can use through the app or on the device itself where you can separate three different levels of EQ, basically your bass, your mids, and your highs. And just for fun, if you'd like it, uh, and maybe you buy international beverages of the adult type, it has a bottle opener built into it so you can pop them off. So let's talk about how much is it. And, and I wanna preface something here. If I didn't say it earlier, I definitely wanna be super clear about one thing. This is not a sponsored video. I bought that. I bought it at Costco. Let me back up. I didn't buy it. My wife bought it. It's my Christmas present. Yay me. Thank you, baby. Appreciate it. But how much is it? When we got it at Costco, it was $99. It was $149 with a $50 rebate. So basically $99, $100. Simple roundup, it's $100. Now, at Costco, I still checked online, and at the time of this video, you can get this thing still for $149.99, $150. I still think it's worth that price. So who's it for, right? 
So basically, I think it's for those audiophiles, for those guys that enjoy music and want it quite loud for a larger area and you don't want to drop a lot of money on it. That's the guy for you. Uh, also, it's going to be for, I, I'm going to say construction workers. I think that's great uh, that you can bring and toss it out. Um, when you're working on a construction site, uh, you maybe need to blare it across the area. You want to listen to good, some good rock music, whatever. That guy's going to work for you. Uh, camping. I won't say hiking, right? Because you're not going to hike that thing in. You got your backyard grillers, your backyard partiers, your beachgoers, tailgating, and even broadcasting the audio off of a Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth uh, projector. Maybe you're doing yeah, a, a, a block party, inviting all the kids over, and you're going to play Frozen. Uh, and you want to blast the music for it, that's the guy for you. Basically, your imagination is going to restrict you on what you want to use that for. There's so many things you can use this thing for. What's good about it? Well, a lot of the features we just talked about are also what's so good about it. It's got great sound. It sounds really good. Uh, it's not the best thing uh, you'll probably ever hear, but you also be paying for the best thing you'll ever hear. This thing you're not going to pay a lot for to sound really good. Great sound for the price. Long play time. The thing can last up to 100 hours, and I'm telling you, it just seems like it will right now. Uh, I've used it so much, I've only charged it up once, and it's still at full power. IPX5, I already said that, right? It's got that water resistance feature to it, which I like, because here's the thing. This is not gonna be enough for you to blare around the pool, you know, for the bigger parties, or more importantly, for me, like I like to take things like this to the beach. Maybe not this, but I'll take maybe this guy to the beach. But if I get this guy wet, it's over. I've been pretty lucky with this guy and I've been very cautious and kept it far away from the, the edge of the water because I don't want this guy to get wet because it will not work and it'll be an expensive brick paperweight. That guy, I can splash it all day. It'll be perfectly fine. I can bring it right up to the edge of the water. As long as I don't put it underwater and I don't let, let water sink and soak into that device, I'm going to be probably perfectly fine with it. It's inexpensive. I've mentioned that probably about a half a dozen times already. It's not that expensive for what you get for it and for as loud as it goes and for as great a sound quality as it is. It's got great build quality. It's pretty solid. Around all the speakers, it's got metal mesh and it, uh, it looks really nice. Um, the body itself is all plastic, uh, but the plastic is really stout and it's pretty thick. Uh, it's, it's reinforced where it needs to be and it feels solid. You got a top drawer, is what I call it, uh, that slides open and it's got an auxiliary port in there that you can put your phone in that port. You can also put your phone, your keys, your wallet, you can put stuff in there and just kind of like keep that out of sight. Uh, it has two sets of charging ports. That's what I like about this as well, is that you've got the, the, the one that's hidden in the bay that you can put your phone and stuff in there and play the music. But then you can also, you know, charge up your friend, your wife's, your friend, your family, your friend, your friend, you, one of your other friends, whatever. Uh, you got another port that you can charge some other stuff off of if you need to, to charge it up. And it's got this really cool handle, not that one that you see there, but there's another handle that pops up. Kind of reminds me of like your, your, your carry on bag, um, towed along that you pop up and you take to the airport and you throw in the overhead bin, uh, you know, the little wheels on the bottom and then the pull. So it's got wheels and it's got the handle kind of cool feature for moving around on flat areas. So what's not so good about it? I, it's heavy. It's 23 pounds. It's not exactly 23 pounds. It's a smidge under 23, but let's just say it's it's 22, 23 pounds. It's it's got some heft to it. It, it it's gonna distort on you. Yeah, it's it's not those five, six, seven hundred dollar devices. Uh, you will see a little more distortion probably a little bit sooner than you would in some of those more expensive devices. The EQ setting resets at every power cycle. It's, it's an annoyance of anything. It's not the end of the world, but it's annoying, right? Your EQs go back to zero. So if you get that perfect mix when you're rocking out some, some good music in there, you got to go back and reset it. So you either do it through the app or you do it on the device itself. The app is a bit lacking. Uh, let's be real. It's nothing spectacular. I mean, the device itself is does what it does. It plays music through multi-channels. Cool. The app, right? You basically got three features, and of those three features, you got kind of like um, three features within it for most of them. First set of features is, is the lights. You got on, you got off, and then you got dance to the beat. There's also another one, but it's a bonus I'm gonna give you at the end of the video, okay? You've got a three EQ setting. That's number two. You got a three EQ setting. Your highs, your mids, your lows. Pretty much it. Your last thing is you got your FM station. 
you get your two sets of FMs for your 16 channels. I think the most featured rich feature on the phone is the FM section of this. You can program and lock in uh, all your stations uh, via your phone. You can turn on and off the FM portion of it via your phone. And then of course, as you go through all the presets, you can select all the ones or you can select each one as you want if you're switching between FM channels. Lastly, one of the things I'm not too much of a big fan about is that top bay fast charging. Technically it is fast charging. Nowadays, most devices are operating at much higher wattage for your fast charging or your super fast charging. Uh, they're actually getting away from a lot of the terminology related to fast, super fast or whatever. But the point is, is that device has two charging ports. The first one that's on the face is five volts at one amp. That's basically five watts. Nothing great, it's not super fast charging or anything like that. It's gonna charge your phone, but it's not gonna do anything super spectacular. It's gonna take a little while. The one in the bay, where they say that it's fast charging, that's the one they identify as fast charging. It's 11 watts, five volts at 2.2, 11. It's just, I don't like the idea of the whole broadcast, hey, fast charging, kind of gives you that idea that this thing's gonna you know, charge your phone up like that. Not gonna happen, but it will charge your phone. So my thoughts on this. While I'm setting up the product review and getting all the details of what I like or dislike and, and the features and all that stuff, I'm also doing a, and I'm pointing to my computer screen here, I also do a, a, a a review of reviews of this device by other people and one of the things that I saw that kind of came back a couple times was a concern of this device having sync issues with projectors projectors that have the capability of broadcasting in Bluetooth to a device like this one they said that they would run into an issue where like me I'm talking but the voice is behind or, or, or whatever it's it's off sync uh, generally lagging behind it I'm gonna tell you that's not the case not the case with me and I I want to say that I think that the concern is is that if you use a projector that's relatively inexpensive you're gonna run into probably a situation where maybe you have more lag uh, in that broadcast the reason why I say that is is that I have a projector um, that's actually sitting up on the shelf up here it's in its case but it's a uh, it's a Samsung uh, freestyle and it projects up to 100 inches onto a wall and it's a really nice projector. It's actually full retail prices, uh, upwards of close to 800 bucks. That guy, when I connect it to this guy, and I actually have a video that I'll show you here just after I say this, is when I had it connected to that, I found no issue. Oh, Vegas, sports analyst, Joe us. Connected to a projector via Bluetooth audio. Let me prove it that it's this one. Game. It's been all over the place, especially when you look at the total. Opened around 47 and a half. We got word that there was going to be thunder snow in the Buffalo area. So right, that's kind of cool. Lastly, this is not a concern. I feel that it's not necessarily a concern, but it's a bit of information I think you need to take with this. One of the great features of this device is that you can replace its battery. It is not as simple as popping open a door and pulling it out, but it's almost as simple as unscrewing some bolts on the back, show you a picture here, taking out the panel. I don't have that layout, uh, but there are websites and YouTube links where you can go and find a way to actually replace the battery in this, and it's not difficult at all. And more importantly, you can also go purchase the battery, and I'll show you a couple links up here, or a couple pictures up here of, of of what this battery is. And for clarity, it is a non-spillable, whatever term you wanna use, lead acid battery. So what does that mean? It is very similar to the type of battery that you have in your car, uh, in your motorcycle, your scooter, if you have a scooter. More importantly, I think more, so, more closely associated with you see the two pictures here, it actually is identical battery to your garage door backup battery. It is a lead acid battery. It has acid inside of it. Uh, it's sealed, it shouldn't spill. Just try not to, 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 to utterly destroy this thing, because if you do, you might break the battery. But everything else that you do with this, short of, again, obliterating this thing, the battery's gonna be fine in it. But just keep that in mind. This is gonna be a different style of battery that will last for hours, give you a great amount of charge, but if you don't take care of the charging of this battery as well, you will end up killing this battery, battery sooner than later. So with all that being said, I really do appreciate your time. I'm glad you made it this far. I think this is awesome. So I'm gonna give you a bonus. The bonus is, I'm gonna explain it to you. I don't need to show it to you, but it's really simple. When that thing is running and you got it cycling slowly through its lights, there is a flashlight button on the device. If you press and hold it for three seconds at the color you like that it's showing at that time, 
it'll stop cycling through those colors and it will sit on that color. Again, really do appreciate your time. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you came here. I'm glad you stayed this long and peace.